Hey everyone and welcome back. We're gonna get back into this form prototype where we left off, we were working on number one, which was we were gonna let users know exactly where they were in that flow. So we did the progress bar. Number two, I want users to actually know where content is coming from in relation to where they are in the flow. Is the next one coming from the right? That's the logical sequence. So let's actually apply that. So what I wanna do is I wanna make sure that we have everything the way we want it. Right now I do have backgrounds. You can remove them, it's totally up to you. Make sure you're on your design panel while you do it. Okay, so I'm gonna remove these backgrounds. You can keep them. I would just rename them maybe. Okay. So the first step is to make sure that we're not just using smart animate. I like to use something like push. You can use move in, move out, move in sometimes doesn't work properly. There may be some overlay between content, which is a little annoying. You can have slide in, which is a little different. Content just kind of fades. So I'm just gonna have push. So I can show you what that looks like. Let's start from the beginning. So this is how it starts. I wouldn't start it like that. I would actually just stick with smart animate. So like this, just start fresh. And then when we start with these buttons in the actual form flow, we can start with the push. So that's set to a thousand, but that's pretty, pretty long. So we could just bring it back down to 500. Let's take a look. So we're gonna go into the flow. Nice. So I don't think that's too quick either. So I'm gonna actually stick with 500. You're gonna have a whole prototype to actually look at, but if you want to break it out piece by piece, you can just take one of the designs and you can work with me. So I have this set to smart enemy. I'm just gonna set it to push. Don't forget to set the checkbox to smart animate the matching layers. They're really helpful so that way this back button and the progress bar stay put. Do, I'm gonna do the same over here. And I'll do the same at the end. Let's click that. Perfect. Let's take a look at what our prototype has been evolving into. Great. Cool, and that is how you can start customizing the way content actually flies into your screen. It doesn't need to be something huge. It could just be really subtle, just a little bit of a hint as to you are moving, or at least telling your users that you're moving in the right direction from left to right in the case of this flow in particular. And that's how you can let your users know which way that content is coming from.